Hey you guys, uh, Tracy here with the House of Chuckles and today's Daily Mask Review. You know what? I blew it. I, I actually blew it. Um, I had some masks set aside that I wanted to do you know about a week ago or or maybe even sooner than that for the run up of the Day of the Dead and it just slipped by me. I, I stuck the box off to the side and I blew it. Uh, well, sort of. I mean, today's the last day. But uh, so let's go ahead and do one. Um, I'll, I'll try and get the other ones up as soon as I can. But, you know, I kind of want to get some uh, for the uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's. But uh, here we have a sugar skull. And this one is called uh, Day of the Dead white PVC mask and this is another one put out by Star Power um, which is distributed by Loftus International and you know this might be a good time to run down to you know like your party city places and because uh, some of them do carry the uh, Star Power brand down there might be able to pick these up on sale tomorrow you know um, anyhow uh, this one here is, like it said, PVC, but it has a white, yeah, it, it's a white fabric that is on both the inside and the outside, and I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up, if you can see the, the cloth. Uh, so, you know, it doesn't look just like a piece of, you know, cheap plastic, even though it is kind of an inexpensive item. Uh, it is kind of on the on the thin side, but not horribly so. And uh, I, I did try to look these up on eBay to see if I could find some there for you. And uh, there are literally hundreds of sugar skulls of you know uh, Day of the Dead type masks, and uh, I could not find this exact one. This one should retail around about ten-ish dollars, you know, ten dollars. However, uh, while looking on eBay, I did find them starting around five. Go up from there. Um, you can get everything from plastic ones like this to the porcelain painted ones. Um, but uh, you know, if you want to start a mask collection of something that looks really good on the wall where you can hang these these are beautiful I mean even though this is inexpensive at least to me I mean I just I I just love them you know uh, what I do is I take just a small uh, ribbon a small ribbon piece of ribbon and I just hot glue a loop and then I can hang them either just above it or down underneath if I if I get it tight enough I can do it where it's not showing um, but anyways well let's go ahead and try this on and I'll tell you how it fits it does not fit very well strangely enough um, there's no nose. Uh, it's it's kind of flat, so it was pushing my nose down. Uh, but again, what you can do is you can take a little piece of foam, you can glue it to the forehead and maybe the cheekbones just to push it, the mask a little away from your face, and that way your nose isn't being smashed. Uh, but other than that, you know great little fun mask and like I say I mean absolutely awesome if you want to do some sort of wall hangings with you know tons of them. get tons you need tons <laughs> you need to start your own collection if you don't have one anyhow guys there it is and I like I say I do have a bunch of these that I was going to do and I'll try and squeeze them in in the next month or two uh, along with you know I want to try to get some in for Thanksgiving and uh, New Year's and Christmas, you know, ones that are related to those events as well. So, anyhow, we will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.